It is time now for the Roadie Roundup as we chat about some of the headlines making the rounds this week and what a trio we have this morning. Let's meet our panel. I'd put this trio up against your trio any day of the week. <laughs> we have actor Maddie B, mom blogger Audrey McClelland, and Mr. Gay Rhode Island, Ryan Welsh. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How's it going? It's going great. Good. Good. Thanks for being here. <laughs> you were applauding yourself a minute ago there. I noticed. I was. Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all I'm not the 12-year-old uh, rapper, Matty B. I'm Matty Blake. <laughs> just to make it clear. Second of all, where's my sash and crown? Yeah, I know. I the know. Two of us so, sorry yeah, left sorry. out. The sorry, two of us fine. are gunning for that <laughs> yeah. sash and crown after fine. the show today. It's but glued to my head, so it's not going <laughs> I think he's been sleeping in it. Let's get right to it. Some, some great topics to cover here today. Apparently, British schools are replacing analog clocks. They're saying that kids can't tell time on the old-fashioned watches. I know you have like 20 kids. kids. Yes, 18. <laughs> what are you? Maybe 19. No, I'm kidding. This is not an announcement. I'm starting with you here. No, I mean, I think that even like myself personally, I use my phone. So I understand that. I mean, th these are kids that are, this is the future is technology. Right. So I don't even know if they teach time in school like that anymore. I genuinely don't know. I should know, but I don't. Right. What do you think, Ryan? I personally, I mean, in my room, I have, you know, a huge wall clock, analog clock, and then I have my little TV stand that has the, the digital clock on it. I look at the digital one more than I look at the yeah. giant wall right. clock that's right yeah. my face. Like, so you can kind of see just, yeah, why, why this is happening. Sense. Yeah. And uh, how about some freestyle hip hop answer here? <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, I'm firmly entrenched in the get off my lawn part of my life. I'm the old guy. <laughs> Yeah, this is something I'm not going to hold on to. Who right. cares yeah. if the kids can tell for the yeah. time with the hands? It doesn't do them yeah. any good. Let's go digital. I love it, baby. Yeah. I'm just waiting for them to turn Big Ben into a digital face. They might. <laughs> <laughs> they they might. might. They News from Westminster Tower. And <laughs> let's move on here to uh, the youth of today. They're saying now, guys, that the word selfie may be done. It may be over for the word. People aren't really saying selfie as much. So let me start with Mr. Gay Rhode Island here on this one. I've seen you in lots of selfies. There's been a lot of selfies. Yeah. Yeah. Are you using the word? Or are you just saying, hey, jump in here for a It's photo. more just, let's take, let's take a picture. And that's just what people, when taking pictures, it's, just, it's selfie. It's not, you know, let's like, get a clock, a camera, and set it up like it. Right. The word selfie is not as common anymore. It just. And now yeah. I feel old, because I just figured out what FOMO means. <laughs> so yeah. I was very comfortable with I'm selfie. With right. And now, now we're changing it. It's changing already. Yeah. 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 What about you, Maddie? Yeah, yeah, I'm lost in these conversations. Like, on fleek is now yeah. bad. Yeah, I, didn't know that was, yeah. I didn't even know that was in. I feel like, did on you see Mr. Fast. It's, it's, fast, yeah. it's gone? Uh, yeah, did you see uh, yeah. Robert Kraft last night in between the two rappers, just looking like, yeah. I don't understand what these guys are saying. <laughs> That's how I feel right now. I don't understand any of this. So that was not a bad Robert Kraft impression. <laughs> yeah, all like, we're all patriots here today. Spot but I think these words have their day in the sun, if you will. You mentioned Don Fleek, of course. I think when you know, for a while, everything was amazing. You know, awesome was the word yeah. when I was growing up. Yeah. It's just that natural progression, yeah. don't you think, Ryan? Yeah. And now instead of on fleek, everything's lit. Yeah, that's lit, the word now. Lit. See, I had no idea. I always think I'm thinking like cigarette. Do you want it yeah. lit? <laughs> like, I, I, these are all new to me. But do you I think, have to brush up. I like to bring the old words back, like icebox, <laughs> dungarees. <laughs> like, I, do you like to go retro? Dungarees, I remember Classic. that. Yeah, oh, wicked, you know what I love right? Wicked. I've been using yeah. lately uh, shenanigans. Oh yeah. I like shenanigans. <laughs> So oh, take that out of with, the vault. With my crown, I'll bring back shenanigans. shenanigans. He's like, my platform. Words. He's like, shenanigans. <laughs> and what a fabulous platform it is. <laughs> and last but not least here today, it says earlier, uh, a new study said earlier in the week that some relationship experts have revealed the dating mistakes that professionals are making. And the biggest mistake both men and women are constantly making is compromise. Also, the expectations are off for both men and women. Imagine men and women are different. But when it comes to this, Maddie, we'll start with you this time. Do you think compromise is a problem? Are people bending too much? Well, as a man who's been married since 1999, I'm an expert on this topic. <laughs> Marriage is, all kidding aside, all compromise, I think. I think it's, I don't know why it's considered bad. Uh, it's a series of, all right, I'll watch the Celtics here tonight. You can go in there tomorrow night. I'll right. do this. Yes. <laughs> all right. I mean, I love it. It's awesome. You've been in the marriage game a while, Audrey. So yeah, what do you think? since, yeah, 2001 or two. She is 2001. Yeah. Wow. So I have to I agree with I feel like Maddie. you should know that. I should know that. <laughs> I agree with Maddie. I mean, even last night, I'm like, I'll watch Southern Charm upstairs. You watch the Celtics. Exactly the same thing. It's how relationships work. Right. Ryan, is there too much going on? I've you been think? in a relationship for five years, and once we reached that point where we, you know, knew the compromise we had to make, that's when it started working the best. So yeah, interesting. That's interesting see, to hear that. Show us who aspects. conducted this mm. study. We'll unleash yeah. our trio on We have some questions here. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, great pleasure to have you here. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank always you. fun. Always a great joy catching up with our Roadie Roundup panel.